Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called complex fraction without variables problem type 2. We're asked to simplify this complex fraction and to start the process of simplifying I can see that I have subtraction in the numerator so I'm going to go ahead and do that subtraction and here we do not have a common denominator. Subtracting 6 I'm going to write the denominator in as a 1 and I can see that to get a common denominator I'm going to need to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by 3. So what that gives us is our 10 third now minus on the right hand side I have the common denominator of 1 times 3 which is 3 and the numerator is the 6 times 3 or 18 and now that we have the common denominator we can subtract so in the top we have a common denominator here of 3 we would keep that denominator and then in the numerator we have 10 minus 18 just going left to right which gives us a minus 8 and we'll continue to bring over the 9 divided by 7 and now that we have a single fraction in the numerator divided by a single fraction in the denominator we know that we can evaluate that by taking the numerator minus 8 over 3 and instead of dividing by 9 sevenths we would turn that into multiplication and we would flip the denominator to make it 7 ninths and now that we have multiplication we of course do not need a common denominator for multiplication we just need a common denominator for addition and subtraction when we multiply fractions we can multiply straight across the denominators 3 times 9 would give us a 27 denominator and the numerators minus 8 times 7 would give us a minus 56 so our simplified fraction is going to be minus 56 over 27. 